There has been a lot going on. Um, I either haven't been able to record lately, or I just didn't record because I was not feeling it, or I did take some clips and I deleted them. Um, but I've been doing some stuff on the Blazer, I mean, not the Blazer, the Suburban lately. Um, I put all the new glow plugs in it that I got. Um, the glow plug connections, like the wires that click onto the glow plugs, they were all rusted and broken, so I replaced all those, and they're all clipped on nice and tight and happy now. Um, but then the glow plugs weren't getting power, so I checked the fuse, the fuse was good, and then I even replaced the, they call it the um, glow plug relay, but it really kind of just looks like a big solenoid thing. I replaced that as well, they're still not getting power, um, but I think there's like, I don't know how many, but there's multiple inline fuses um, that go to all of them. I replaced one of them but I'm thinking it's just one of the inline fuses because there's really nothing else in the system. Um, and it sounds to me like the glow plug relay is turning on. I even kept the old one just in case because I don't think it was bad, but I figured whatever, I'll just throw it in because everything on this truck is just cheap and easy and it gets it right all the way. But it sounds like it's turning on, so I think that it's all set, but my boot ripped off of, it didn't actually rip off because sometimes they fall off. This time it actually, like the boot itself, ripped. So, as always, I'm not very proud of this engine bay. It's nasty. There's oil everywhere. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but this is the boot that ripped. Um, which I am pretty sure it is this same boot. Because this one is bigger than that one. Um, I think that one's just really stretched and worn out. This one might be slightly the wrong size, but I'm going to make it fit. I'm going to make it work. So, that is what I am throwing on right now. Ah, it's hot. We don't, I'm not talking about anything. <laughs> there will be no discussions on this. There we go. It's all in there. It's like the strongest part of it now. Probably gonna replace that one eventually, but for now it's fine. Everything's good. Well, it went good for about 20 minutes. And then I did like a pull through first and second into third and um, kind of made a big poppy sound and did that. So it still gets around fine as it is. I just get less, I get worse fuel mileage and it blows a bunch more smoke. It's harder going up hills and it does not tow as good, but <laughs> I can still get around fine. I'll just order one, it'll be in a couple days, and then I'll replace it again. So I do have a new a new boot on the way, but until then, I threw some tape over this. Um, I have not tried to get on it hard, but it holds five pounds of boost, so cruising around town, it still actually goes pretty good, and I'm getting slightly better fuel mileage, so the new boot should be here in like two days, I think, maybe three, um, but until then, I just threw some tape on it just so it's not completely losing all of the boost, so it goes down the road a little bit better. So I just got something in the mail that I was pretty excited to get. I've been waiting for it, so I'm just gonna get right into it and show you guys. Just in this little box. It's the same brand as my drone. DJI. Comes in a nice little package here. The, I think this is the charger for it. I think this is like a little handle thing for it so I don't drop it. And this is a case protector type thing, I think. Oh, yeah. So we don't know what it is yet. 
basically a gimbal. Um, I'm gonna try to not break it here. Directions here. Well, it says I'm gonna have to hook it up to my phone, I guess, to turn it on. Uh, I don't know. So this is the little tripod thing here. Um, I think this was like an extra 20 bucks to go with it, but it basically screws right into the bottom, like so. And then you just can open it right up and sit it down. Closes right up and screws off if you don't want it. So that's pretty handy. This thing is badass. Um, says right on it where you put your phone. Oops, says which way to face your camera, which direction. Um, there's some more instructions right there, but basically once you download the app and you put your phone there, it will pretty much walk you through it. Um, that's zoom in, that's zoom out. This kind of rotates the little camera around, that changes modes. And then up there, we'll start recording. Um, this thing is pretty sweet, but basically what this does is like right now, if I'm trying to like move my phone around, like my hand doesn't stay straight. I mean, I'm kind of exaggerating it, but you know what, it turns and it's kind of wonky, but in reality, this thing, makes transitioning like really smooth like it'll keep the camera perfectly level if i'm moving around quickly it's not going to do like a bunch of this um so it's pretty much just going to help with the quality of the videos overall and i'm going to start using this every time i turn my phone on pretty much now um every time i'm making a video anything this thing's coming out so hopefully it helps the quality a bunch um we do record in 4k and upload in 4k um with like 60 frames per second, I believe. So the quality actually isn't bad itself on the videos. So basically this is me taking a quick clip with it. I'm still trying to figure out like how to use it and everything. Um, Cause if I face it down, it goes down. But like if I move my arm back and forth right now, it's keeping the camera completely like in place. I can go side to side and whatnot. Um, and then I can turn it without moving my hand at all. I just have my finger on the joystick right now. I can go panel to the right, panel to the left, and then obviously down and up. Um, and then I can still zoom. But this thing is pretty sweet, honestly. So far, I, I am liking it. I'm just trying to figure out how it works. It's still a little funky to get used to, but 